Hey guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about the update that the game has done to these guys here, the Savage Giants. So of course, less than two weeks from me doing my first Monsters video, the developers have gone and changed things up with these uh, Savage Giants and the rewards they get and a few of the game mechanics have changed as well. So I'm just going to go through a quick rundown with that for you now. So if we look here, obviously we've still got the Savage Giant number 5 and then we they have also added a level 20 and a level 25 on top of the levels 5, 10 and 15 that we originally had. If we click on Mr. Number 5 here, you can see here they still got the refresh time for their moving location as they had before. And then when we look below, some of the things have changed here. So you've got a rally battle report and some rewards and then you've got bonus rewards one of one so for a level 5 giant you're going to get one lot of 10 minute speed ups 5 times 5000 coins 4 times 10,000 food and then 2 times 5000 hero xp the bonus rewards for this are going to be 7 times 25,000 gold 1 times 150,000 food 100 diamonds and then three one hour speed ups and the normal recruitment ticket. One big change for Savage Giants, if we click on the info icon here, get rewards by defeating or doing damage to enemies. Bonus rewards can only be obtained one time every day, resetting at zero zero world game time. And then they've changed this, so rewards from defeating enemies can only be obtained ten times per day. So you will get the basic rewards now but you will only get the bonus rewards once one other inf interesting change as well here so I think now they've actually got the correct amount of recommended power on these numbers because before it was much lower than this I think it was only 5,000 so this is 30,000 and if you look below it gives you the option to select move out once the rally is full so that's a time-saving measure that we haven't had before if uh, you know you've got two or three if you've got two, three or four members of your alliance joining you and that fills out the, all the slots in the rally, then it will go out and attack the Savage Giant once it's full. So that's quite a nice little addition, I think, because uh, I think in the past people would get frustrated when, you're, when your rally is full and it's ready to go, but you have to wait for the timer to count down. Let's just have a quick, quick look at what the other giants are going to give us in terms of rewards as well. Here we have the level 10 giant. Again, there have been some changes to this. If you remember before, a level 10 giant would give you, for instance, 100,000 hero XP. So a basic, basic rewards for a level 10 giant are going to be 3 times 10 minute speed ups, 4 times 15,000 gold, 8 times 10,000 food, and then you've got 8 times 5,000 XP. So they've reduced the hero XP a little with this level. Uh, you're going to get 10 times 25,000 gold for the bonus. 3 times 150,000 food, 1 lot of 200 diamonds, then 5 times 1 hour speed ups, and the 1 normal recruitment ticket again. Recommended power for these ones has gone up to 140,000. Again, you may have noticed that when they did the update recently, they did amend the power ratios on our legions as well, uh, slightly increasing them. So maybe this is all kind of uh, in line with what the developers were thinking about. So now I'm just going to quickly search for a level 15 and we can have a look at what you can get from him. So here we are onto a level 15 giant and let's look at the basic rewards for them. So you're getting 1 times 1 hour speed up, 5 times 15,000 gold, 1 times 150,000 food, 3 times 20,000 X hero XP on that one. And on the bonus rewards that you would only get once a day, you're going to get 8 times 25,000 gold. 5 times 150,000 food, 200, 200 diamonds, same as before, 7 1 hour speed ups, 1 normal recruitment ticket. Again in the past if you got a level 15 Savage Giant you would get 96 5 minute speed ups I think so they've just kind of changed the timings and, and made them into hourly speed ups which kind of makes sense and you're getting some hero XP there as well. Recommended power for a level 15 is now 300,000. 
we've got a level 20 right next to the 15 so let's have a look at him as well level 20 and 25s have been on the map um, the last week or two weeks and people were looking at them and the rewards were actually lower for these before this update um, so it's nice finally that we've actually uh, got the correct one so anyone that has been avoiding doing level 20 or 25 giants the last couple of days now that the uh, update has come and the rewards are correct you do want to be hitting those level 25 giants if you've got the power as they will um, yield you more rewards so for a level 20 you're going to get that one times one hour four times 25,000 gold four times 50,000 food and three times 20,000 hero xp on the bonus for the one a once a day you're going to get 10 times 75,000 gold six times 150,000 food two times 200 diamonds eight one hour speed ups and then still the one normal recruitment ticket and the recommended power for these ones is now 600,000 and if we just scroll down here there should be a level 25 rocking about around here there he is so for a level 25 this is now the new highest level again for the basics that you can get 10 times a day it's one times one hour, four times 25,000 gold, five times 50,000 food, and the three times 20,000 EXP. For the bonus rewards on these ones, you're now going to get 12 times 75,000 gold. So that's, you know, that's not bad. That's uh, 900, that's 900,000 gold. Seven times 150,000 food. That two times 200 diamonds, nine one hour speed ups, and the normal recruitment. But the recommended power for this jumps up to 3 million. Um, so you're going to need um, a reasonably strong account with T9, I would suspect, to be able to take down level 25 Savage Giant. And those are the new options for those. Also with the level 10 White Knight, which is available during... Rain of Cow Seasons, we'll just have a quick look to see if there's any changes with him too. So here we are on the level 10 White Knight. Again, similar to the Savage Giants, you've got this option to move out once the rally is full. You're also going to have the same rewards from defeating enemy can only be obtained 10 times per day. And you will get 4 times 50,000 food in the basic rewards one times 10 minute speed up, just the one regeneration serum for your uh, healing those troops in your coalition base camps during Reign of Chaos seasons. And on the bonus rewards, you're gonna get five, uh, 500 stone, 25 regeneration serums, 10,000 honor XP, 1,000 military surprise, supplies, and a normal recruitment ticket. So the difference here now is, again, that you can hit more than one of these a day and you'll get a tiny reward, but I mean, one regeneration serum is it's probably not going to be worth expending your stamina on doing that because you want to be using your stamina for taking tiles um, either on the Eden map or uh, wherever you are working towards in your uh, Reign of Chaos Season 1 to 4 working through your tire levels etc you're not going to want to spend 20 stamina doing each time doing lots of white knights i would suggest so there we go that's the update on savage giants and the white knight just a quick quick video to kind of explain uh, the changes that have gone ahead there thanks very much for all your continued support on the channel don't forget to please subscribe ring that bell like share and place any comments that you have below and I'll see you guys soon.